age of computerized flying, what do you do when the systems go down? One fault triggers another. If pilots put all their trust in systems, can they cope when the systems fail? Denver, Colorado. The United Airlines DC-10 is preparing to take off for Chicago. The crew have no idea that this flight will turn them into aviation heroes. Al Haynes is captain of flight 232. Okay, starting checklist. Battery switch. Check. Standby power selector. Check. Hydraulic system. Hydraulic system, good. Thank you, Tower. Have a good day. OK, gentlemen, here we go. Just after 2 p.m., Flight 232 begins its two-hour journey to Chicago. Engaging autopilot. It's all yours, Bill. Should be a smooth ride. At 3.16 p.m., the pilots make a shallow right turn. Suddenly, the tail-mounted engine explodes. Losing one engine out of three shouldn't be a problem. Bank angle, bank angle. Bank angle, bank angle. Suddenly, bank angle, the plane bank starts to bank steeply to the right. They try to correct it, but it doesn't work. Bank angle, bank angle, bank angle, bank angle. The pilots now realize they're facing much more than just single engine failure. System one, zero pressure. Engine two, on fire. I've got it, Bill. System two, zero pressure. System three, 10%. The exploding engine has cut through the hydraulic lines, which the pilots use to move their flight controls. Now, make that zero percent, too. We've lost all hydraulics. They've lost the controls they need to steer the plane. Somehow, they have to find a way to maneuver the plane using the only controls they have left, the throttles which control the thrust from the two remaining engines. To go left, they power up the right engine. To go right, they power up the left engine. But it's an extremely crude way of steering the plane. Meanwhile, Captain Haynes and First Officer Bill Records are struggling with their improvised steering, using just the left and right throttles. What they need is another pair of hands. One of the passengers, Denny Fitch, is a DC-10 instructor. The four crewmen divide out the tasks. Easy. Now some right. Bit more. It takes pinpoint accuracy and every ounce of concentration. Okay, that's right. Gradually, they bring the plane back under control. The question is, can they land? Now we just have to find a place to try and put it down. Bit more right. The crew now steal themselves for landing. They all know it could be fatal. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be trying to land shortly. I have to warn you that it will be very firm. The crew gradually bring the plane closer and closer. Everything depends on the finest adjustment to the throttles. 
They're just a couple of minutes from landing. Flight 232 finally comes to a halt in a field alongside the runway. The four crew in the cockpit survive, so does Jan Brown. But out of the 296 people on board, 111 die. Incredibly, there are 185 survivors. They prove it's possible to bring a plane home with nothing but throttles. When automatic systems fail, only the skill of the pilots can bring a plane home safely.